This year's Shanghai Tourism Festival features stories of Shanghai architecture that includes more than 150 structures in the city. And today we're taking you to learn more about the design of the Museum of Art Pudong, which is closely linked to a stunning cityscape. Hi, Mr. Chen. Hi, Steve. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I have one question for you right off the top, though. Yeah. What was the motivation behind creating the X space, a 30 meter tall um, yeah. exhibition area? So, X space, the vertical size is 33 meters. The perimeter is 17 by 17. Okay. So, this kind of the vertical space, who can hold it? Who can do it with a very exciting exhibition? So Tai Guo Chang used the space. In the ah. space, we have media installation. We have the suspended points. Each point have one tone. Yeah. We have the curtain to be blackout or to have the zenithal light. And uh, everything is done to give the support to the artist. So Tai Guo Chang created the exhibition with the space. With the X space in mind. Exactly. Okay. In 2016, the Shanghai Municipal Government launched a competition to choose a design proposal for the museum. Renowned French architect Jean Nouvel won the competition with a design that was meant to blur the distinction between the structure and the environment. And then Jean wins with the idea of domain. So we have the unique materials from the garden to our vertical facade, right. to our roof terrace, mm -hmm. then go to the riverside, then chop vertically mm -hmm in the river. Right. Now you have a, a bridge that leads right out to the waterfront here, is that correct? Exactly. So the riverside is also a part of the Pudong Museum area. It's part of the museum itself. Yeah, exactly. You think we can go and have a look at it? Sure. All right, let's okay. do it. Go. The stone on the ground and the stone inside of the museum, it's the same. So you will, you will never feel your exterior, your exterior, because art continues. Then the diagonal small lines, which cuts in the stone, it also show the noblesse of the stone, and also it's rain. Oh, it's meant to look like raindrops, right? Exactly. You know, I'm a weatherman, so that, <laughs> speaks to me. that speaks to me a lot, yeah. After the riverside, Chen Chen showed me another highlight of the museum, Le Grand Vert, or the Glass Hall. It features a 55-meter mirror wall that also functions as a screen. Opposite the mirror wall are giant floor-to-ceiling windows that allows people outside the museum to see what's happening inside. So this is really more than just a, an LED screen or a multimedia exhibit hall. Yeah. It's actually more like a stage. Exactly. So it's also a kind of the big box put the challenge for the qualified the artists in the world mm -hmm. to create the, together a kind of the city event or a art event. And also, you know, this kind of the glass is 100% the Chinese production. Mm -hmm. So no structure elements that you can see. After receiving a detailed tour from Chen Chen, it was time for me to meet with another professional, Aldo Cibic, an Italian architecture professor from Tongji University, who has worked on several house renovation projects to modify people's living environment in Shanghai. Hi. Hi, Hi. Steven. I am Aldo. Aldo. Aldo the architect. Pleasure to meet you. I'm uh, just trying to take in this piece right here. Just notice that paint drip going up. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like yeah. This must have been upside down when he was doing that part. I'm interested always in the balance, you know, because you see that there is a balance starting from down there, going up there, mm -hmm. an equilibrio, we say in Italian. Yeah, an equilibrium, yeah, yeah. A, a balance. <laughs> a yeah, balance, exactly. Yes. Yeah. The exhibition is titled Joan Miro, Women, Birds, Stars. It's the biggest exhibit of Spain's Fundacio Joan Miro in China. The exhibition includes about 70 paintings, sculptures, drawings, and prints. Cibic says that he's amazed by the atelier-style design of the exhibition hall, giving people a great sense of the relationship between architecture and the artist. You feel that the architecture of the exhibition is very warm. It gives the sense of the place, the sense of the relation of the art in, in, in this the specific, yes, yes. Yeah. Without thinking, when I came, the arch is shocking because in such a geometric architecture, even if it's not that regular, you don't expect to see an arch. Immediately, the relation of the space with the art is giving a strong personality. The Museum of Modern Art Pudong was developed by Lu Jiazui Group and designed by famous French architect Jean Nouvel. 
who also did the Big Red Building near Xintiandi. From my point of view, what con concerns me is the idea of how Shanghai will be able to keep an interesting identity and not to become too much business only. Mm. Because what makes a city lively is the variety. Thank you very much for your time, Professor Aldo. It's a pleasure meeting you. Me too. And uh, thanks for the insights on Miro. I had yeah. <laughs> Stephen Rancourt, ICS for CGTN, Shanghai.